always comes to this. guys back to do another tattoo progress update today it's kind of a tattoo progress update kind of just a general update for the channel i guess um so i've got a number of topics to cover today um i guess i'll just get right into it so obviously i've had my eyelids tattooed um you can see that they're still in some kind of uh healing stage not the eyelids themselves but uh my bruising is still not completely cleared up um, you'll see, you'll have seen by now if you watch all my videos and some uh, Remy Reacts videos that uh, uh, I had quite a bit of yellow bruising here. It's starting to go away, so this will kind of be the last stage of it. But it is surprising how long the bruising stayed around. It's almost two weeks later, and I'm still, I guess it's a week and a half later, and I'm still in some stage of bruising. So if you ever have your eyelids tattooed, be prepared to bruise. Um, we did figure that would happen, but um, I usually heal really quick for tattoos. I guess not so fast for bruises. Although maybe that's still quick. I don't really get bruised very often. I had a customer come in, for example, over the weekend and uh, asked if I got in a bar fight or something. I was like, nah. <laughs> no. No, just the eyelid tattoos, which healed great. Um, they're super black and the lines are great. There's no blowouts. Lee was worried there might be a little blowout, but... Uh, they healed great. Um, obviously, I had my ears tattooed. Um, had a full-length video on that already, so I won't talk too much about the process of that. But um, as you can heal, see, they healed fairly well. Um, obviously, there's some spottiness. But the spottiness does the, exactly what I expected it to do. Um, and I will say, this ear is a lot more solid at the base. Um before I continue onward about the way that they healed and all of that, uh, I'll say that uh, this stuff up here was meant to be choppy. And so the lobes were done solid. Terry had a hell of a time saturating my lobes. And he didn't really figure out properly how to get the ink in until this year had kind of had enough. So as I said in the last video, they're going to need a big touch up. Um, but we're probably only going to need to touch the lobes up as... Uh, the rest of the year is exactly as as we planned for it to be so and it's all peeled already um i was able to get most of my ear piercings back in fairly quick um, i'll get into that a little more in a bit here um but because of the fact that um we went with a kind of broken up choppy kind of look up here and through the middle of the year um it didn't really make a big difference that the, the bottoms are a bit spotty and in fact like as an aesthetic this might actually be the better way to leave things um especially given that we aren't going to probably get them perfect uh i think perfect you know ears that are stretched like mine are pretty hard to fathom um uh, all credit to hood posting the healed ear that he did but that here has almost no damage done to it there's almost no weird scar tissue and i don't know if it would have been the same on my ear um maybe it would have been i mean i'm not saying it definitely wouldn't have been but there's less chaos to work around in that ear i'll have that ear up here and you can see what i mean my ears are genuinely messed up so and it's obviously my own fault with that said um Healing went really, really quick. I actually wasn't sure how how fast my ears would heal. I've obviously never had ear tattoos before. but So I was in between really quick and really slow. And thankfully, they healed, healed really fast. I had some parts of them peeling within two days. And then um, the upper parts of the cartilage and stuff peeled off over the next uh, day or two. So the lobes healed really, really quick. And then these parts up here took longer um i was expecting to lose a lot more size of my piercings than i did and i will say that i put this one in right after we finished like right after i went home just because there was actually no part of this tattooed up here and then this one i put in the second day because there was very little 
uh, trauma up here. Um, and then this one was the beginning of the 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 second day after we did it. So because there was less damage there, but by the time I got showered and up the third day, I had almost all my jewelry back in, and I just in fact put my uh, my normal sized conch piercings back in already. So uh, my conches were I think one size lower at first. Um, they went in fairly easily at one size lower, which means I probably could have pushed um, the real size that I had in there back in more or less immediately, but obviously it would have been painful and um, I'm healing fresh tattoo there, so I didn't really want to do that. Um, I will say this video is being made only five days after the tattoo and almost everything is back to the normal size. With a few caveats of, I didn't bother putting these piercings back in, these little small ones. I didn't think they would go back in, and I honestly don't miss them. I was planning on either taking them out or piercing this side the same way, but I think tattooing them, so it suits the overall look of uh, the ripped ear quite a bit better, um, having them be black and red velvet. Um, some of the red velvet probably didn't show through great when I was doing this when they were fresh. Now you'll be able to see that there's red velvet in there, but not too, too, too crazy much. It's more of it is in here. Um, and then there's some in the lobes, but I don't want people to think that all of this patchiness was intentional. Um, Terry did think about, uh, you know, just blasting the, the negative space spots, the, the spots that aren't fully saturated with uh, uh, red velvet as well on the second pass. Um, over the next four weeks or so, I'll be thinking about what I want to do with that. Um, because the way that it looks right now, it kind of goes with the red velvet on my face and stuff and my neck and all that. So um, I don't know if I want them solid black or if I like that kind of tattered look uh, on the lobes as well. With that said, um, this guy up here, I could probably put back to double zero. I'm wearing a zero right now. But... Um, I don't think it really makes much of an aesthetic difference to be a little smaller and um, with some of the luck I've had anyway, I think probably downsizing a little isn't the worst. Um, this guy in here, the Tragus, is down two sizes and I'll probably just leave it because the Tragus wall was pretty thin when Terry was tattooing it and uh, I don't really want to lose it if I don't have to so um, it's down from a zero to a four currently. And that's big enough. I'm not, like I said, in as into piercings as I once was anyway. So having a smaller tragus is not the end of my day. Um, yeah, so, and then this guy went in pretty easily. I did have to put in the slightly smaller size. Um, I put in a 24 millimeter for about an hour and then I came back and just having it in that position because it had concave for a couple days having it in the right position was all it took for me to slide the bigger piece back in and there was no real pain with that actually the most painful parts to put in were the lobe piercings um, for whatever reason i think because the lobes got worked harder they swelled more so getting the piercings back in uh, the right size was a little bit painful and obviously um, wearing a teardrop in a healing piercing or newly stretched again piercing is not going to be the wisest idea but these holes the way they are they're so close together that the reason i wear a teardrop in this one is because um, they don't fit together if i wear two round tunnels so um, this one actually has to be uh, a teardrop or else they won't they won't sit right the the one will bunch up and that's not comfortable either and it's not good for a piercing to be sitting in uh, that kind of a way it's hard to explain the uh tunnel doesn't quite fit and they're bunching into each other it's quite uncomfortable and quite bad for the tissue um with that said i was supposed to get tattooed this morning looks like rick and i are doing it tomorrow morning instead so i was at the shop anyway and i knew i needed to make this video but i've had uh, another terrible thing go down um, I'm shooting the shit with uh, staff at the shop here and talking to some customers. I open up my Instagram and lo and behold, my main account has been suspended again. 
This is the third time this year for people who are following around along with me. And my honest hope is that by the time this video sees the light of day, um, my account will be back. But I don't actually expect it to be this time. For the record, I didn't expect it to be last time. Instagram has deactivated my account four times in total now. Once was in 2019. And then these last three times have been this year. Um, you would think that having 217k followers and growing still and verification that was given to me without paying for it there they gave it to me because um, I was a recognized figure around the world which was long overdue at the time um, you would think that that would be some kind of a protection from this but uh, somehow their algorithm keeps getting me I don't know what it is if it was if you, if you ever thought for a second maybe Remy's just being rude to people and they, they, you should see the comments that are left up on my pages, for example. You go to my TikTok page and you'll see a shit fest of, of negativity. There's, it doesn't end. And it's the same as any anytime I get posted anywhere on Instagram, um, especially anywhere else, but even on my own posts, even my own followers I've had the worst comments you could imagine. I have been subject to an unreasonable amount of hatred and just vile animosity and, and just disgusting rhetoric over the years. And none of that stuff ever gets taken down. Somehow me just existing and being reported. I had a guy come into my comments the other day and said, um, another post I'm going to report because I just don't like it. I'm sure he actually did that too. And I'm sure that happens all the time. That's actually an option. When you go to report something, you can say, report this post. Why? Because I just don't like it. So I'm not making that up, by the way. You can go and look. I'm sure that happens to me quite often because, um, and I'm sure the reason why this happened again was because I just finally got around to posting my back blackout. And uh, it attracted a lot of attention. Somehow that upset a lot of people. Um, it, you know, it's always good for me when those things do well. But then you get this. And I, I would think that it's in direct correlation. I also had just posted my eyelid tattoo video. And uh, my, my page was on a bit of a roll. I was running hot. And uh, next thing you know, you don't have a page anymore. So I'm not only just punished for the way I look or whatever... I'm punished for doing well now because the last time my account was deactivated was in July and my account has kind of been in a weird shadow ban land for a while. So it just, and it's only ever Instagram. It's, I said all kinds of shit on YouTube and TikTok and I've never been banned anywhere else. It's just my Instagram. And unfortunately, um, my, I care a lot about my Instagram. Like I've built that thing over the last eight years. And uh, I built it to a place where it's fairly successful, and um, I get a lot of uh, people come over to my ins or my YouTube from my Instagram and all this. And you know, it's it's just too bad that just existing is enough for um, the algorithm to punish me and remove my uh, my account altogether. You know, a lot of people make their income off their Instagrams. I don't monetize mine in Canada. It doesn't work great. But if I did, that could have been my life. And you know, I've talked about this before, so I'm not going to go on about it too much here. I'm hoping that by the time this video goes up, which will be sometime in the end of December, I'll already have my account back and this will be old news. But even if that is the case, it's only going to be so long before it happens again because there's no one fucking human making decisions at Instagram. And it's really causing problems. Because I'm not the only one this has happened to. But anyway, I don't want to make this whole video about that. I promised myself I wouldn't. It's just, it's very hard not to, to care about it. It's very hard not to be angry about it. And there's almost nothing you can do about it. Like, there's all kinds of ways to appeal things. But you're just, you're just hoping. You're just like, there are people who never get them back. And secretly, this could be the last time. Um... I have an alternate account, but it's obviously not nearly as, uh, you know, large as my main account. And most people are too lazy and um, indifferent to ever 
go out of their way to find something again. You have to be lucky enough to come across their screen. And even then, what I've found with alternate accounts is people will assume they're already following your main account, so they won't even look. They'll assume that it's the same page. So it's actually really tricky to um, rebuild when Instagram does these kinds of things. It's not as easy as what you might think. Just getting on someone's screen again is difficult, and then um, they're probably so checked out they don't even realize because most people that use Instagram are doom scrolling. <laughs> so they're not paying attention, and they're more or less dead at the wheel. <laughs> and the only ones who are paying attention are the ones that are angry at everything they encounter every step of their life. It's, it's miserable, but it is what it is. Anyway, um, ears healed up pretty good, I think. We knew these would need to be touched up, but I like how they look already. And uh, um, I don't know if they'll look better when we make them more solid at the bottom or not, but that is currently the plan. But I have, I'm probably going to do that in four weeks. Um, and uh, I've got other things coming up in the meantime. Hopefully another session with Rick tomorrow. But um, the fact that Rick fucked me over today was just par for the course. It seems like things come more or less uh, in bunches. Like when you're already down, life likes to kick you. And so I kind of expected that he was going to do that today. And it's anyone's guess if he's here tomorrow. Um, that won't break my heart either. It is what it is. But uh, sometimes life tests you. And it's like... You just you just have to get through it and hope that things will get better. That's just what it is. Um, if I don't get my Instagram account back, then, I mean, life will go on. I'll just keep using my other one or whatever. But I really do think we need a new photo sharing platform that uh, isn't so fucking ridiculous. And uh, that isn't just going to take people out without giving them a reason or uh, destroying people's work that they've spent, you know, nearly a decade working on on less than zero grounds without any justification it's fucking insane that we're living this way anyway i'll talk to you guys again soon have a great day